I can, I can reach, I'll take every fight as it comes, you know what I mean? So, even this next fight, I've got to get past this next fight first, do you know what I mean? The, the kid has won his last three against a good Jordan. Good Cook. kick it, yeah, kid, isn't he? Yeah, he's called Henry Jane. Henry yeah. Jane, yeah, so he's beat a good uh, Jordan. <laughs> a bit different for you today, but I uh, had a nice little chat there with Masha, yeah. and uh, we've, we, we know your opponent, and you've, you've got a real tricky kid uh, coming up. Yeah, it's it's only what I want though. It's only what I want from mm. the. I, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the the footage of him fighting this um, Jordan Cup, but I can believe that he was pressuring him to get the win because I know Jordan's a great boxer. Very good. Got, got to the semi finals, the ABAs. He beat Zelfa Barrett. Uh, Zelf is a, a pressure fighter, so I know Jordan Cook's more of a boxer. So I know that this Henry James would have um, would have put the pressure on him to win. So, uh, so if he's going to come and put pressure on me, that's what I want to, you know, that's what I'm all about. Well, he's had a, he's had a, a bit of a strange career because he kicked over. I think he's the same age as you, or maybe a little bit, yeah. a little bit older. But yeah. he did kick over in 2003, yeah. and his first fight was against young Stephen Foster Jr. Yeah, yeah, well, nine and zero at the time. He's been in a couple of uh, Derry Matthews yeah. twice. Yeah, Derry Matthews twice. Andy Morris, you know, <laughs> Stevie yeah, Bell. So, so it's 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 interesting. This is what it's about, though. This is now what we're in. You know, the, the, this is this is the this is the the, the the part of the career where I'm going to be pushing on. I'm going to be fighting people. So this is a great test for me now. Definitely, and it's a real test, it's a real test because yeah. even though you look at his record, I think his record's uh, ten and twenty, yeah. and uh, you think, oh well. Yeah. But you look at the people that have beat him. The people that have beat him have gone on to win bigger and better yeah. titles yeah. than yeah. than yeah. at least the British, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. he's uh, yeah. he's, yeah. So he's been a content. He's been he's been a he's been a gatekeeper for most of them. But I believe I can do that. So I believe I can go and beat this kid and, and convincingly so mm -hmm. we, we'll just see on the day I'm, I'm, I'm training hard sparring hard with you know with Masha doing doing plenty of rounds with Masha he's good for the fitness good for for experience good so for the shiner good for the shiner yeah yeah <laughs> elbow life but good mm -hmm. for the shiner but um no but yeah that, that that's that's it I'm, I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to push forward now and if this if this Henry Jane's gonna come forward on me, he's gonna box me. Then he's gonna be open. He's gonna take risks like I'm taking risks. So, you know, we'll. Uh, because he's in a purple patch. I mean, say three wins on the bounce here yeah, against, against good, good opponents, winning, winning and, opponents, and, and yeah. the last one, like I say, a, a guy that's been tipped by a lot of people. I know his manager John Begg, yeah. and uh, he he was tipped to go a long, long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, this well, is. Well, that, that's even even to him. You know, I think he'll he'll come back from that. He's only a young lad anyway. I think he'll come back from that. He's just a. Uh, I think he underestimated him, which. That's the thing with me. I, I won't underestimate anyone in, in this game, in the gym, sparring. I'll go in and I'll treat every person who's in front of me as if they can beat me. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. not, they're not saying that they will, but I, you know, it's a puncher's chance with anyone in, in, in the boxing ring. So, But I'm confident in my ability to be like the rest of these four, what, what one of the best to go on. And what's this going to be? Is it going to be a six or an eight rounder? Yeah, it's I, a believe it's a, I believe it's a six. Mm -hmm. It's a... Um, from what I'm knowing, it's a six. He did say an eight, but I, I think that the lad only wants to take a six because it's a, uh, he's only had four rounders recently. So uh -huh. uh, and he's been like you said, he was out for a couple of years, were he? So um, so yeah, that that's. That's it, I'm ready to go now. Let's no, I, this is what I'm really intrigued to see, yeah. mate, because yeah. there's a cracking night on the 24th down at Robin Park in Wigan yeah. because you've got uh, two <coughs> scousers putting it on the line. Adam Ismail putting in Central Area welterweight title yeah. against uh, Andy T. Cole Calhoun. Yeah, that's it. That's going to be a great fight, yeah. That's it. Uh, you know, I think Calhoun will have to put the pressure on him if he's going to get the win because, you know, Ismail's a good boxer. So uh, Beautiful boxer. Beautiful. You know, he's tall, rangy, southpaw. Perfectly built, yeah, exactly. you know, it's just he could cause Kaloon problems if he doesn't put the pressure on, I think. But mm. that's you know, it's another, another great fight for, for the night. And um, same with the uh, with man, man's gonna be one not to miss. So get down there, get the tickets either direct from me, fan page of our Craig Brogan, uh, Tonks Gym. The tickets are all there, we've got plenty of tickets still to go. So, um all the support will be great for this fight. This, this, this is a fight that will push me into the next levels, I think, so put me on to better things. Because you just moved into the top 20 now, the lightweight division, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was in, I was in the... Um, I was like 18th, and then a couple of super feathers come up to lightweight. All right. So that's why I changed into 21 or 20. 
Um, but I was I was 18 at the time. But I know a couple of super feathers popped up um, that were ranked well in super feathers. Because so this kid well is rank, ranked. So he's, he's ranked a little bit below you, but yeah. actually in the weight above. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's ranked in the weight above. I think he's ranked 34 in the weight above the you. Weight above, uh, yeah, light, yeah. Well, a super lightweight. Super lightweight. Yeah. Well, um, well, that's it. Yeah. Well, it, it's made a ten stone uh -huh. on the on the day. So. Hopefully that'll bode in your I've favour. Always, I'll definitely have always fought at 10 stone. I, I get down to 9-9, do you know what I mean? Because so there, there, there was talk not long ago about you maybe fighting uh, Andy Townsend for the Commonwealth, wasn't there? That's super feather, but um, you know, there weren't were enough time. I could do. I could probably do the weight, but there weren't enough time to get to get ready for it. Uh, and be strong. Know, and be strong with the type of fight that I am over a 12 round fight. I need to be, you know, like, like I said, um, I need to be fit and strong with, with twelve rounds to go forward. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want to be, I don't want to be wasting all my weight away, and then struggling to do twelve rounds. Especially because Charles then is a big puncher. Yeah, he's, he's a puncher as well. Do you know what I mean? But I, I, I believe I, you know, I've been in with the best amateurs. Do you know what I mean? So I've been in with bigger punchers than than Tarn, Tarn, Do you know what I mean? So I know, punch, a punch is a punch, isn't it? Uh -huh. Anyone, you know, everyone's a big puncher if they catch them right. Do you know what I mean? But I believe that. You know, I'm durable and I believe I'm, I'm a bit of a, I can punch myself. So well, you proved that in your last fight, mate, didn't you, against believe, Joe Ducker? I believe I can punch myself. I think I've just tried to box against these gentlemen now, but, you know, a, a statement's to be made in this division now, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A statement is to be made and that's what I'll do. On the 24th? Yeah, on the 24th and the 22nd, whoever comes my way. Now I've got the opponents on the 24th, which is good. Gives me a little boost to the... Um, to push on a bit, I know the kids did. He's won his last three, so we'll um, we'll take it from there. But like I said, even with even with getting down to Super Feather, when we heard about that, I had my main sponsor, uh, DTP Rail. They've helped me out a lot with um, with funding, giving me um, my nutritionist John Clark. He's helped me out with my diet. He's uh, thanks to John. So. I'm I'm in good hands now. I've, I've uh -huh. got a good team about me with with all other sponsors. I've uh, you know I'm full time in the gym, so it's working out. Um, it's working out well. But DCP Rail has really helped me on by. They've given me a monthly wage. They're, they're helping me out with um, with proteins, training gear, everything that can can be there. And you know not, not to forget about all my other sponsors. If you don't mind me giving them a mention no, as well. Right, There's um, I've got Joe at Steel and Motors. He's helped me from day one. I've got Gary at SCC Camping and Conversions. Skelmersdale, there's Gaz Caliper, Wigan, um, Caliper Engineering in Wigan. Then I've got um, I've got Terry McHugh who's helped me out. He's amigos take away in Skelmersdale, and Mr. Science. He's uh, he helps me with t-shirts and all that. So all these all these people help me out in, in in where I am. Do you know what I mean? So they help me out with like the t-shirts, little bits of a wage coming up to the fights. So it's really good, um, and plus I've just got another sponsor on board, thanks to Scott, at a fabric place in Liverpool, great place, he went there to get some fabrics, ended up speaking to him, he wanted, you know, about the 22nd, he wanted to, to help me out with a bit of sponsor, so I, I'm doing alright, the, the team's coming. So looking good. Definitely, yeah, Dave Tonks, Joe Tonks and Alan Kaufman in, um, in Tonks gym, we're working, we're, we're working really well. It's, it's going so really you believe well. titles are going to come your way 2017, mate? Definitely, yeah. If it's just the timing, it's just the time and getting everything right. Get these fights out of the way, and then I think um, I think it's going to be something uh, sort of good to come up. Do you know what I mean? Maybe even you and Masha. It'd be great. Me and Masha, we've just been talking about it. Listen, if me and Masha fight, we we want we want good money. We're good mates. We want good money, but if me and Masha fight, it'd be a fight, when we it? spar, you've been there and seen the spar. We we spar, you know. We there's no there's no holding back. We go forward. Me and Masha to fight would be, and he's even said he'd want big money to fight me because he knows it's going to be a tough fight. Do you know what I mean? And I think. And you were the last guy to beat him in the amateurs, weren't definitely, you? Definitely, yeah. I was the last. I think I was the only one to beat him as a, as an amateur. He done well as a through the novices, the under tens and the twenties. But it's it's a great fight. Even that fight as an amateur, it would be a tough. You know, we were last on. I think there was only three fights on. A couple of them folded, and um, that fight in that little building that we were in, it took. Mash has got a. I, I went down there with John Allen, my old trainer, and it was only me, him, and a couple of my people who come down. And I swear to God, you think Mash has got a crew? Mash had, had the full. The roof would nearly come off when we were fighting, <laughs> but it didn't phase me. I went in there, done what, done what I'd done. 
beat him, you know, I was a bit experienced to him, I beat him and, um, and like I said, you know, he's a bit ahead of me in this career now, but in the uh, the professional ranks, but I, I believe I believe he's only ahead because he's been a, a bit, of, you know, he's been here a, a bit longer, do you know what I mean? But I think I'm, I'm stepping up levels quick now. Well, he's had a couple of lucky breaks and he's took him with both hands. Oh, definitely, yeah. And that's why. Listen, Masha has done what I need. Masha's done what I need, do you know what I mean? So I can't... I, I full respect to him because he's done what I really need at this time in my career. Do you know what I mean? He's, uh -huh. uh, he's done it. He's been in the ring with Scott Cardle twice, and uh, you know he's boxed him twice. I think he he's given him a tough time twice. Do you know what I mean? So he's up there. So um, yeah, if me and him were to fight, we, we'd want big money in a nice bigger stadium, and we you know it'd be a great fight, nice hard twelve rounds fighting. Do you know what I mean? Trammy. Anyway, <laughs> Trammy, yeah, Trammy, yeah. Skim. <laughs> anyway, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, nice one. Thanks a lot, mate. Steve, see you later, mate. All right, bye bye. Thanks a lot. Thank you.